Busy Town Schoolhouse, right ahead! What a great day! My hat must think it's a bird! Hello, Miss Honey! We were wondering if you could write us some stories? For the new Storymobile! Stories for a Storymobile? That sounds like a wonderful idea. But unfortunately, I have too much to do right now. I have to put the books away, fix the alphabet strip, and do a spelling lesson. If we helped you, could you write some stories? I'd be delighted. That's great! Let's put the ones that do not belong into that box. Clock. A. Clock. Nice job! Clock. Doesn't belong on the A shelf. Stick. You got it! Stick. Doesn't belong on the B. Shell. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Cookies. Cookies. That's right! Cookies. Doesn't belong on the S. Shell. Milk. Hooray for you! Milk. Doesn't belong on the C shelf. Ruler. Good work. Ruler. Doesn't belong on the T shelf. Bell. Nice job. Bell. Doesn't belong on the M. Shelf. Yes! Now we can go see if Miss Honey has finished the story. Or we can stay and put away more books. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Hello, Huckle and Lowly. I finished a story. I put it in the Storymobile for you, and if you keep helping, I will keep writing. Thanks a lot, Miss Honey. Uh-oh! Some of the pictures have fallen down! Let's try to put each one back where it belongs. We have to match each picture with the alphabet letter it starts with. Goose. G. X-ray. X. Way to go! X-ray starts with X. Ice cream. I. That's great! Ice cream starts with I. Eraser. Eraser starts E. Apples. A. Terrific! Apples. Rug. R. Hooray for you! Rug starts with R. Let's finish the whole alphabet. Zipper. Z. That's great! Zipper. 
mop. M. Way to go. Umbrella. U. You go. Backpack. B. Box. F. Let's keep going. Log. L. Tur. Olives. O. Well. W. Goat. G. Cucumbers. C. This is fun. Tomatoes. T. Yo yo. Y. Ketchup. K. Duck. D. Quilt. Q. Let's finish the whole alphabet. Nest. N. Vase. V. Hay. H. Sun. S. Potatoes. P. Jug. J. The alphabet strip is all done. We sure know our letters, Loli. Could we see if Miss Honey is ready with a story? We could, or we could try to match some more letters and pictures. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Huckle and Loli, thanks for your help. I wrote another story. It's waiting for you in the story mobile. Thanks, Miss Honey. This is fun. Oh boy! Let's spell some words. All of these words have a missing letter. Let's fill in the blanks. U. Bug. B. U. G. Nice job. N. Ant. A. N. T. You got it. A. Hat. A. T. That's right. Let's spell some more words. Now there are five to go. Cat T Hooray for you P Pie D Dog D O Nice job Let's spell some more words Four more Mop. P. Way to go. G. Egg. G. That's great. X. Box. F O X. X. Let's spell some more words. Three left. A bag G I 
wig. D j Hooray for you! O Pot P O T Let's spell some more words. Only two left. V Van B Bun F U S Sun F Hooray for you! Let's spell some more words. Only one more to go. N K E N Terrific M Ham Not G Log G U We did it, Loli! We sure did! We spelled all the words correctly! Do you think Miss Honey has had time to write a story? We can go check, or we can spell some more words. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? I've finished, Huckle and Loli. Thanks for all your help. I just put my third story in the Storymobile. Another one, Miss Honey? We have a lot of stories now. Wow! Lowly! The Storymobile is filled! What should we read first? The best birthday party ever. Huckle's favorite day, his birthday, is only one week away. He decides to plan a party. Huckle makes a list of things to do. 1. Buy balloons. 2. Buy party favors. 3. Make a big cake. 4. Invite friends to come. This is going to be the best birthday party ever, Huckle says. On Monday, Willie Rabbit telephones Huckle. I'm sorry, Huckle, he says. I can't come to your party. I have to go to my grandmother's house. On Tuesday, Billy Dog telephones Huckle. I'm sorry, Huckle, he says. I can't come to your party. I have to go to the doctor. On Wednesday, PJ Pig telephones Huckle. I'm sorry, Huckle, he says. I can't come to your party. I have to go to the dentist. On Thursday, Lowly telephones Huckle. Oh, Lowly, Huckle cries. No one can come to my party. This is going to be the worst birthday party ever. Don't be sad, Lowly says. You can come to my house for your birthday. We'll have fun. Just don't forget to bring the cake. On Friday, Huckle walks to Lowly's house. He goes inside. Surprise! Everyone shouts. Huckle is very surprised. All his friends are here. Happy birthday, Huckle, everyone says. Do you like your party? It's the best birthday party ever, says Huckle. <coughs> Miss Honey's ABCs A 
Abby Rabbit ate all the apples. Ah,、oh, Abby. B. Bananas Gorilla has no bananas today. Boo hoo. C. Sally Cat counts the clouds. One, two, three. D. Billy Dog dares to dance. Get down, Billy. E. Danny Elephant eats eight eggs. Yes, exactly eight. F. Farmer Soybean grows flowers in his field. Sunflowers. G. Mr. Gronkle goes to the grocery store. Go, Mr. Gronkle, go. H. Hilda Hippo sits on Mr. Frumble's hat. Uh oh, a flat hat. I. Irving Goat ice skates in the winter. Isn't it nice on the ice? J. Janitor Joe cleans up in a jiffy. Just wonderful. K. Kathy Kitten keeps her kites in the air. Way to go, kiddo! L. Spotty Leopard makes a left turn. So long, Spotty. M. Mister Fixit made the Story Mobile. Marvelous invention. N. Nurse Nora reads the newspaper. What's new, Nora? O. Oliver Octopus only eats olives. Oh, Oliver! P. Pig Will puts pumpkins in a pile. Pig won't pouts. Q. Quentin Owl always asks questions. He is quite curious. R. Rudolph von Flugel roars by in his jet. He's really fast. S. Sergeant Murphy says no speeding, bananas. Stop. T. Turnip tends the beehives. Mmm, terrific, honey. U. Ursula Pig unfurls her umbrella. Stay dry, Ursula. V. Victor Bear visits his grandma. Very nice. W. Lowly Worm watches the huge waves. Wow. X. Xavier plays his xylophone. Excellent. Y. Ivan Yak collects yellow yarn. Yikes! Z. Zachary Zebra has zippers everywhere. Z. End. The best field trip ever. Miss Honey has to leave school for a few days. A substitute teacher is coming to take her place. His name is Mr. Tuff. Here he comes now, says Lowly. Good morning, class, says Mr. Tuff. Let's get to work. We have to get ready for our field trip. Mr. Tuff even sounds tough, says Huckle. Mr. Tuff gives the class books to read. Huckle reads about fossils. Kenny reads all about dinosaurs. 
Hilda reads about rocks. Read all you can, says Mr. Tuff. You have to be prepared. Mr. Tuff gives the class exercises to do. In the gym, Huckle does sit-ups. Hilda does push-ups. And the whole class plays tug-of-war. Get as strong as you can, says Mr. Tuff. You have to be prepared. <sighs> On the day of the field trip, Mr. Tuff gives everyone shovels. Then they get on the bus. When the bus stops, Mr. Tuff shouts, OK, class, start digging. Everyone groans. More hard work. Suddenly, Hilda's shovel hits a rock. Clang! That's not a rock, says Mr. Tuff. It's a fossil of a dinosaur egg. You're up! Wow, says Huckle. Let's see what else we can find. Soon, they find a dinosaur bone and some dinosaur teeth. All of a sudden, Mr. Tuff slips and falls. He slides down the mountain. We have to save him, yells Huckle. Huckle throws a rope to Mr. Tuff. The kids pretend it's tug of war. Heave ho! At last they pull him up. Thanks, class, says Mr. Tuff. That was hard work. It's a good thing we were prepared, everyone says. We thought this trip would be too much work, says Huckle. But it was worth it. This has been the best field trip ever. Are you sure you want to quit? 